anxiety syndrome. Yeah? You probably have the experience of having a conversation with someone. You are engaged in the conversation. And then you hear someone saying your name somewhere. The sound may not be very loud, but you can just pick it up. Yeah? So that says um, our perception of sound does not rely only on the intensity of sound. What's more importantly is what the sound means to us. When we are exposed to sounds that mean something to us, our perception of that sound will be a lot more acute. Make sense? Okay. Another classic example is that um, a lot of new mums, they can be waken up by the tiniest sounds their baby's making, but they can sleep through a thunderstorm. So again, sounds that are important to us, we are very sensitive towards them. Sounds that are not so important to us, even though they can be quite loud, we, we, are, not that much, we are not that aware of them. Yeah? So those sounds will be in the background. When we shift our attention away from them, they just fade away. But it's not like you can't hear it. When you refocus back on the thunderstorm sound, you can hear them. Yeah? Okay. So, for people, now let's talk about tinnitus. For people who are bothered by tinnitus, the sound of tinnitus will not be a sound that's trivial. It will not be a sound that does not mean anything to them. It will be a sound of danger. It will be a, a threat to them. And because the sound means something to them, their brain is going to continuously attend to that sound one day. And of course, because of that shifting of attention, they will perceive tinnitus a lot more. So with the, um, the meaning to the tinnitus, you can have the continuous perception of tinnitus by the brain. So the goal of the TRT is to habituate to the sound of tinnitus, which means the goal of the therapy is for you to, when you hear tinnitus, you don't react as if it's something that's really important to you, that's dangerous to you. Instead, you react to the sound of tinnitus as if it's one of the background sounds. Okay. So to achieve that, um, TRT uses constant background sound, also known as white noise, to help with the habituation. So we get clients to listen to white noise sounds, so uh, rain sounds, uh, what else? Uh, <laughs> Wave. Wave sounds, wind sounds, sounds that are in the background that's constant, we get them to expose to these sounds below the volume of the tinnitus. So they have a chance to pair these two things up. So it's almost like a way of tricking the brain to thinking, okay, I, I hear the sounds here all the time, and I hear that sound there all the time. I know that sound is harmless, and it's one of the background sounds over time, to help the brain to learn to categorize them together. So creating that new pathway in your brain, so eventually you get habituated <coughs> to the sound of tinnitus. Now, cognitive behavior therapy is another very important component in the therapy that we do. And cognitive behavior therapy, or CBT, suggests that in all situations that we are in, there will be thoughts and beliefs in the situation. So these thoughts are actually um, how uh, they, they are the, the, the factors that um, drives our emotions and also our behaviors. So, so for example, for someone with tinnitus, when he hears tinnitus, he could have a lot of negative thoughts about tinnitus. Um, some classic um, thoughts will be, this is really annoying, gosh, I cannot relax with the sound. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with my tinnitus. Would, would it get worse as I age? Oh gosh, if that's the case, then I don't think I'll be able to cope. Yeah? And how would you feel after you have all these thoughts? 
not very good. Yeah? Anxiety, depression, anger, frustration. Yeah? So with these thoughts and these feelings, that will lead to behaviours. And one of the very most common behaviour will be monitoring of your tinnitus. Gosh, I better check how is it today. Oh gosh, I think it has increased. Oh, yeah. So that itself creates a loop that maintains your tinnitus. The more anxious you are, it will have an impact on um, your tinnitus because we know that when we are more anxious, physiologically, we are, physiological arousal is increased. When we are more um, heightened in physical arousal, we are more um, sharper in all of our senses including hearing and the perception of tinnitus. So it's kind of a vicious cycle. You hear tinnitus, you have negative thoughts. Negative thoughts leads to bad emotions. Emotion lead back to tinnitus and it creates this negative loop that maintains tinnitus. Um, so in the therapy, what we do is we identify these thoughts, these unhelpful thoughts. And my experience is that once we start to look into these thoughts, we notice that most of these thoughts are unrealistic worries. Yeah? And so what we do is we identify these thoughts and we try to challenge these thoughts. So we come up with a more realistic thought that helps to manage our emotion. So the therapy goal is management of tinnitus. It's never a cure, it's a management. And in the therapy, you gain skills to help shifting your attention away from tinnitus. And we know that once you shift your attention away from tinnitus, it becomes something that's in the background. And the more you do it, the more efficient you will be at doing it. And to challenge your thoughts, using relaxation techniques to manage your anxiety. Tinnitus could still be there, but you are living your life. And a lot of um, clients that I have, when they first came in to see me, they tell me their tinnitus is really loud. Um, some of them stopped working. Some of them could not even cook. <laughs> they have to order takeouts. Um, some of them stopped going out at all. And um, it's really debilitating. By the end of the therapy, I ask them, so how's your tinnitus now? And a majority of them will tell me, well, my tinnitus is still quite loud. But look, I am working, I'm going out, I'm cooking, I am enjoying my life now. So the focus is not to reduce the level of tinnitus. The focus is for you to react differently to your tinnitus so that you become more neutral towards it. And it's a management approach. It's never a cure, but it's something that you manage. So, the conclusion, you can do something about your tinnitus. It's not the end of the world when the doctor <laughs> says to you that I cannot do anything for your tinnitus. You can certainly do something psychologically to manage your tinnitus.